up? I'm fucking back to do another kettlebell thingy because this is just what I enjoy the most. The bodybuilding thing, I don't really care for. So this is a single kettlebell endurance um, complex. So it's uh, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. And then um, you up a weight and go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. I've done the first round with the 18. Now it's the 24. Then I'm going to do a double. So I'm going to record the 24 and the double. So you'll see what exercises we do here. You want to hold the top. Is <laughs> it good for the core? <laughs> if you want a more conditioning based effect, you do a jerk.
shoulders worn out. My endurance isn't as good as it used to be. The burpee workout the other day didn't help either. Yeah, it was tougher than it used to be. I haven't tried that in a while. And the 24 is no joke. I mean, doing a complex like that. So you're doing five exercises per side, 15 reps of each. It's 150 reps per round. Non-stop. You always hold on to that kettlebell. And depending on the weight, it'll be between seven and nine minutes. Um, the other day, I started back with the Iron Wolf training. And that's what I love to do. That crazy shit. Going to a gym and just hitting some barbell movements. It doesn't matter how much intensity I put into it, it don't feel the same. It just doesn't feel the same. I don't like it. Um, I don't like seeing how much endurance I've lost. And I'm kind of slower. I'm still decently quick in the running thing. And the biking and all that shit. But... Not as quick as I was at 185 pounds, obviously. So, I've decided to commit to this again. I've been undecided for a while. Going back and forth between the barbell stuff and the, this type of shit. But honestly, in the bodybuilding community, the only way to really get good, and by good I mean look good, because it's not really about performance at all, is to take steroids. You just take a bunch of gear, and then you look really good at ultra lean body fat percentage, and then there you go. Powerlifting, you have a better shot of that if you're natural, but it's boring as fuck. Strongman is cool, but I'm personally, I don't think I'm tall enough. I'm like 5'9", five, 5'10". Five, so to compete at a serious level, can't do it, and I'd have to get heavier than I am now. I don't want to be heavier. I don't like where I'm at right now. I don't like the feeling at 200 plus pounds. I've been at this weight for a couple months now, and I just don't. 
I don't like it. I don't have as much spring. I don't have as much endurance. I'm stronger, but what the hell good is that if I can't perform at the same level that I did before? Not to mention, I did a half marathon last week and well, I like fractured my heel. That's what it feels like anyway, because I've done that before. Like I can do it, but it's harder. So I just want to be more efficient at this shit. And not so much be heavier and bigger. Also, adding muscle and just size in general hasn't done shit for my personal life. Nobody cares. Nobody cares. Nobody respects me any more or less. It didn't change anything. So for the people who are like, if I just went to the gym, nah, nobody really gives a shit. Unless you're like maybe obese or something. So I was like a scrappy 180, 185. I'm too, like a couple people made comments, but then it wore off. Like nobody cares. It's the same shit. So really it's about what you're happy with. If you want to go to the gym and be a bodybuilder, like uh, natural hypertrophy and bald omni man and all those people, have at it. I don't think any of them are natural, by the way. Nah, I think they're probably all on gear at some level. And um, they just don't have the genetics to be really jacked like uh, Liver King. Or the money, because that dude was on $15,000 a month worth of gear. So I don't think any of them are natty. They're just giving you a bunch of false promises and lies in the hopes that you will uh, subscribe and maybe buy their shit and give them money. So I don't like any of these people that much, to be honest. I think maybe Alpha Destiny's natural. Because he doesn't have the... Like, even when he's shredded, he don't look like the others. So, um... I think it's all a fucking scam. I like Ivan Jurek. Look him up. Squat every day guy. Been watching a lot of his shit. He's the real fucking deal. Most of these people are... Are, are just fucking liars. Oh, and Jason Blaha, ironically enough. Even though he, he's personally a piece of shit. His training advice is pretty damn solid, though. Okay, enough talk. Doubles. I haven't attempted a double complex like this in months. I'm doing the half snatch here. Like I told you before, I don't do the full snatch in a complex. It is too dangerous. It's not worth it. Yeah. <laughs> when you don't train at this intensity for such a long time, it goes pretty quick. 
but I thought I'd be able to at least make it down to the threes. But I didn't put it down. Fuck. All right. I'm gonna make it a little harder on myself and do cleaning jerks from now on. I was gonna put more stress on the conditioning. It's also so I can't bitch out and blame muscle fatigue from all the burpees I did yesterday for the pressing. I ain't putting it down again. I'm gonna regret saying that. What? Yeah, I lied. I failed that goal. This is so much harder than the last time I tried this. Which I think was back in May. Alright, snatches. Look, I'm oh, a goddamn failure. We're doing that twice a week till I get it back to where I was. And that's the difference between aerobic conditioning and anaerobic capacity and endurance. My aerobic conditioning and endurance hasn't really changed much at all. But the anaerobic has gone to shit compared to where I was. So that's three rounds, that's 45 reps for everything. I'm gonna do one more finishing round with the 18 again to kind of cap it off because honestly as far as uh, muscle muscular output goes about done that was tougher than the iron wolf one two burpee combo thing that I did kettlebell training in my opinion is the best overall type of training you can do
All right, this one, I'm not putting it down. I didn't put down the 24 at all. I'm not putting this down. Well, there's a huge difference between single kettlebell and double. I can't really describe the difference. And then just going nonstop. It's just holding the bells like that just fatigues the absolute shit out of the forearms. And the biceps, too. And it's just so hard to hold on to. Alright, final round here. <laughs> I'm just going to do three rounds of five. And rather than go five, four, three, two, one. I think that's how I'm going to do it. I'm gonna go and count it down. It's like a built in cool down.
Oh, shit. All right. Real quick, I want to give a shout out to the Swolverine for being the biggest, most insecure piece of shit in the YouTube fitness community. I critiqued his, uh, Snatch technique, politely and respectfully, and him and his uh, dick licking followers were trashing me for it. Dude is so insecure, it's fucking ridiculous. Claims to be a world class athlete, but what the fuck does he do? Fake martial arts and stupid half assed lifts with a bunch of heavy weight. Yeah. Generally, anybody who can proclaims how badass they are is a little bitch in addition to that dude's obviously on gear so fuck you man I will smoke your ass at just about anything except the beauty contest he is better looking than me no no shit there especially right now with me being all beefed up and kind of fat he's definitely better looking than me I will give him that. He wins a beauty contest every fucking day of the week. And I'm bald too, so you know. Props to you for being better looking than me, buddy. Like I said in that last comment before you banned me or whatever the fuck. Give me your uh, supplement stack and uh, we'll see how long it takes for me to look like you. I'm, I'm reckoning six months. Yeah, fuck off, dude. To the rest of you, give this a shot. It'll uh, kill you.